are you thinking of getting into deer hunting this year? I know a lot of people are. And there's a lot of areas where you have to use a shotgun. In some areas you might not have to use one, but you might want to use one. Here are three things you should consider if you're looking at a shotgun for deer hunting. Number one, how much deer hunting are you going to do? Are you a bird hunter, a rabbit hunter, you do a lot of different things and you might deer hunt for a week? Then I would suggest, you know, a gun like this. This is what I started with. This is Remington 870. Nothing fancy, it's a do-all gun and it's an awesome gun. I've had this gun for over 35 years. If you look at it, sounds like an 870. It's built like a rock. It is a really nice gun that's all purpose. Doesn't have a scope on it. You say, do I need a scope? Not necessarily. I hunted with this gun for over a decade without a scope, killed a lot of deer with it. The nice thing about the 870, it's solid. This is a 12 gauge. This has a bead on the front. The thing you need to consider is you have to run a lot of ammo through here to get used to that gun. No different than your pellet gun or your 22. Learn the gun and you'll be able to shoot deer with this no problem. Second thing you need to consider, what types of ammo should you use? There's a lot of shotgun ammo out there and some of it's pretty expensive. So what you wanna do is read up on it. One thing I'm gonna tell you, write this name down, Dave Henderson from Endicott, New York, the be all end all shotgun expert in America. Find his book, Shotgunning for Deer. It's gonna teach you more than I can teach you in this video, but you're gonna learn all about slugs. A gun like this, remember a Foster style slug. You don't need nothing fancy. One thing that a lot of people might want you to believe is that rifling in a shotgun barrel is gonna help it spin. That doesn't, that's not true, that's a myth. Rifling in a shotgun barrel does not make that slug spin when it comes out of there. A Foster style slug, which shoots really good out of a gun like this, basically it's the design of that slug, the weight of that slug, and the retention of that slug, which making that slug accurate downrange. Now when I'm talking downrange with a gun like this, no scope on it, 50 yards, 75, you get better than that, I'd like to hear from you because that's some awesome shooting. But with some practice and the right ammo through a gun like this, you'd be well off shooting deer at 50 yards and less during deer season. Now the third thing you wanna keep in mind is if you're gonna do a lot of deer hunting and that's all you wanna do, then I would recommend a dedicated gun just for deer hunting. Right here we have a Remington 870. Same gun as this. This is a 12, however, and this is a 20 gauge. This one looks different. It's got a nice black stock. It's, it's kind of cool, it's tricked out. You can get a dedicated gun like this for just a little bit more, add some nice optics on it, and make sure that it's a dedicated shotgun scope. That's important, because not all scopes are the same. You put a rifle scope on there, you will ruin it immediately. Shotguns punish scopes a lot more than center fire rifles. So the other thing you want to do, same thing, on a dedicated slug gun, you want to pick out a few different types of ammo, and this is where it helps to go in with a buddy. You're going to go to the range, get that gun sighted in pretty much with whatever you've got on hand for slugs, and then you might want to buy two or three or four different boxes of shells. Because if you look at a shotgun, the bore tolerances, like are, they're different. I can't tell you that this slug is going to shoot best out of this gun. It might for me, it might not for you. Your gun might just be a little bit different. So that's the trick with, with slug gun hunting. There's a little bit of a science there, a little trial and error. And then when you find the slug that works best out of that gun, stick with it because it's going to take you through the long run. Okay, here's a final tip for you. When it comes to shooting a slug gun, it's different than a center fire rifle. With a center fire rifle, what you see is you see guys sometimes not even holding the forearm. What they do is they have their hand back here. However, they're resting, they might have that on a rest right up there. And they're just coming up right here and slowly squeezing the trigger. You know, ideally see that little puff coming out of the barrel when the gun goes off, it almost surprises you. Not what you want to do with a slug gun. Slug gun is a completely different shooting form. With a slug gun, what you're going to do is you don't want to offhand this thing because you're not going to be very accurate. Some guys can be accurate on a deer drive, things like that. That's not what I'm talking about today. What I'm talking about today is you're hunting out of a tree stand, a ground blind, you're in a redneck blind with a nice uh, ledge of a window, something like that. Three points of contact and really solid contact. So let's go through it off of this bench. If I had to do it in a tree stand, I'd be using my knee. But right here, I'm using this bench. Let's say I have to just shoot off of this bench. Point one, point two, point three. I'm going to get down, I'm going to get locked in, and now when I'm locked in, 
What I'm doing, what you're not going to do with a centerfire rifle, is I'm gripping the forend, I'm pulling the gun down and in toward me, down and in, back this way. I'm going to get that as tight as possible, I'm going to get this as tight as possible, and I'm going to just bury that thing into my shoulder so it doesn't move. This hand still stays loose because I don't want to torque it. And when I shoot, boom, that thing's going to knock me back, but it's gonna, I'm going to keep steady by keeping that pressure point here. With a slug gun, a slug gun really rocks you. And that's one thing you want to keep in mind is to be more accurate, is to be solid. Keep these tips in mind when you're hunting this fall, and I think you're going to have a lot more success.